ropes off of a repeat. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this. and... Walter gets reversed. Bodies have been decimated, fortitude has been tested, and these fans are showing their approval of these superstars' performances. intentions in mind. Decision. I like it a lot, Cole. She clearly wants to inflict even more punishment here. Oh, sudden cover. That offense taking a toll on her. Oh, what power with the German. There's not a single person sitting in this arena. It's pandemonium, Cole. These knee strikes. Hooked up. Driven down. For the pin and the win. Yes. Two. No, it's not over. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. He got whipped into that corner. Dorado is out of the way. since Lindsay is going to remain relentless. DDT! Oh, oh elbow caught him right at the bridge of the nose. Nice arm drag. These women have been chomping at the bit, and now they're about to throw down. What a clothesline! Ouch! Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. and clawing. This could be it. Two. Are you kidding me? How have we not 
claimed a winner yet. You got to believe that not wanting to feel the ag. There comes the ball. The backstop it. Look there. And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. You can see her struggling to find her bearings. Up high. East River crossing. These guys have been looking to beat each other up for a while, and now it's their chance. A running hurry Colorado. Beautiful. He turns it around on Lince. Hooked up. Driven down. Typical guy hiding behind his woman. Producing a trampoline. Uh-oh, she could be setting up for a submission here. Oh, look at the camel clutch. Incredible torque. This is not where the... There it is. This makes tags all over. What a victory. Here are your winners. Volter and Ember Moon. Quite the next tag team win here for this guy and gal. Winning a mixed tag match has nothing but good feelings. There is definitely a feeling of excitement in the air. Half man, half amazing, but all business. He's the founder of the Hurt Business. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 259 pounds. At one point, was the highest paid free agent in WWE history. But now MVP is spreading the wealth among the Hurt Business. Who can forget that MVP once held the United States Championship for 343 days, which at the time was a record. After a tough upbringing, nine years spent locked up, MVP is living proof. You don't let past failures define you because now all he does is win. Ah, uh, whose house is it? It's Swerve's house! What does that make you, Saxon? Like the annoying neighbor who calls the cops when the music's too loud? That's not a very nice and thing his to opponent say, From Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 201 pounds. The ECW World Heavyweight Champion, Isaiah Swerve Scott. The unmistakable swag of Isaiah Swerve Scott on display. Uh, Byron, he has the talent to back it up. Saxon, why don't you learn from Swerve Scott? This guy is cool, man. Everything about him is cool. You should take notes. I thought I already had a cool factor. The swagger of Isaiah Swerve Scott has earned him love from the WWE Universe, but some say it borders on arrogance. Yeah, but when you're as good as Swerve is, you have to show it off. About to see great high-flying and striking hybrid offense. Now, 
Isaiah Swerve Scott. A fitting nickname for someone with no shortage of confidence and incredible athletic ability. Yeah, Swerve just exudes confidence at all times, bordering on arrogance, but it's that attitude that has fueled his rise. Well, Isaiah will have to come out on top tonight if he wants to start calling the ring Swerve's house. But he's facing a man who's excelled in every facet of this industry, MVP. He's been a champion, a trailblazer, a mentor. The man's done it all and knows every trick there is. MVP is out here to show he's still got it. Out here to cement his legacy as one of the greats, both through matches of his own and putting his protégés in a position to succeed. What can Isaiah Swerve Scott do to turn the tide of this match in his favor, Corey? Swerve needs to capitalize on his incredible speed. The harder Scott is to keep up with, the easier it'll be for him to create offensive opportunities. Okay. There he goes, right into the corner. Muay Thai knee strikes. Swerve manages the counter. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a ragdoll here. Holy, that was an awful landing. Taking this to the floor. Oh, stomping away. He's looking a little off balance. Oh, what a knee lift. Check his nose. Kidneys. Golly. Mistake made by MVP. Back and forth from these competitors. Five. Has the leg trap. Fisherman suplex. Six. Good timing Seven. with that reversal. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Just caught a flush. He's got him scouted. Two. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, look at this. Four. Under the ropes and back into the ring. from behind. Uh-oh. Oh, you wait. He's hitting me. Back of his neck. Standing shooting star. Press incredible. Two. Two. Kicks out. He still has life. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, enough already. Reversal from MVP. Oh, oh. He is just reeling from that offense. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. to keep this match going. MVP is dialing in. Turning the tables. Get on a leap. Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. I've got to say, the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. MVP looking for it. MVP on the cusp of ending it. The cover. One, two, three, three. What a win for MVP. Here is your winner, MVP. An important victory for him in this match.
This victory is exactly the kind of statement I knew he wanted to make here. This was a message from him to the entire WWE Universe. The Persian Lion. The following contest is a fatal four-way steel cage match. And is for the left, right, left, right championship. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 190 pounds, Aria Tavari. Tavari brings a no nine sense style and approach to the cruiserweight division. So much money, it ain't even funny. Here comes the richest man in NXT history. Saxton, maybe you should ask Grimes for a little loan. You can update that suit game. You know what, that's not a bad and idea. And introducing the challenger from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grimes. A trainee of the Hardy Boys who is now rich enough to buy the whole Hardy compound. That's amazing to think about, but actually a better reason to become friends with him. Maybe Cameron could buy somewhere for you to live so you can move out of your mom's basement. Hey, hey. Cameron Grimes, a stock market savant, somehow made money buying coins for dogs. That's not exactly how that works, Saxton. I'll explain later, but Cameron Grimes about to make even more money tonight when he captures the winner's purse of this match. The modern day Maharaja. And introducing the challenger from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, Jinder Mahal. <laughs> Jinder Mahal really believes that. The praise that he receives in his home country of India should be the same kind of praise he receives all over the world. Well, why do what you do if you can't enjoy the perks outside of it, Byron? Corey makes a really good point. Jinder Mahal hasn't done a whole lot to earn that adulation. What the are you over the talking world. He's about? He's a former WWE champion. Yeah, but he also treats everyone like they're inferior. He, he talks like down you. to the WWE Byron, universe. you are inferior to Jinder Mahal. Another true point by Corey. Bam! Why don't you stop kissing Corey's butt, Michael? This is going to be interesting. The arrival on Raw of Alexander Wolf. 
The mood and feel as we know it is about to change here on Raw. And introducing the champion, representing Imperium from Dresden, Germany, weighing in at 245 pounds. He is the left, right, left, right champion, Alexander Wolf. This guy's had some battles with many WWE competitors before they actually came to this big stage. People like Drew Gulak and Oni Lorcan. Yeah, once you get past the uh, the aura of intimidation that Alexander will pass, he is an extremely accomplished competitor inside the ring. Look at that determined look on Alexander Wolf's face. Well, I think Wolf is determined to prove himself to Imperium tonight. Things are about to go sideways as these competitors vie for the left-right, left-right title. Cheat codes are out the window as we get set for a left-right, left-right championship bout in this cage match where we will see Arya Davari, Cameron Grimes, Jinder Alexander Wolf, and now these combatants find themselves in unfamiliar territory. Cold steel surrounds them. No place to go except through each other. The champion locked in like a zebra amongst a pack of lions. And every inch climb puts you in a more perilous position. Reversal on Wolf. And a wear and out on their opponent. Oh, what the heel hook stretch. Looking for a grip to get themselves over the cage. Being locked in a steel cage has to throw a superstar off their game a bit, doesn't it, Corey? While well, the cage around the ring is an added stipulation, the goal remains the same for these superstars. You have to make quick work of the opposition before they have an opportunity to capitalize. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Launch it, and oh, he's there. Trampling the opposition. He's determined to make it to the top of the cage here. Needs to be careful, though. Every movement is a dangerous one. Oh, no! From the top! Oh, Ripped from the top rope. And a malicious fall from the cage. Oof. Kind of a rough landing. And that's what you got to expect in a steel cage match, Saxton. Oh, the cage! The champ getting put to the test here. Is this the right time? Is this the right moment? Set foot in the cage, but to win? 
is even more impressive. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. Accompanied by the Rated R Superstar Edge, the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, China and the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. As a former tag champ myself, I know when I see a championship caliber team, and this is the dictionary definition of one. Team bout, it's gonna be Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Then across from them, we see China and Beth Phoenix. These teams have scouted each other very well. They probably identified the weak link in their opposition. Likely gonna want to isolate and punish that single individual. She's really looking for the early victory, but she didn't find it. Really just laying it in. Turn Nia Jax around there. Quick exchange of counters there. Series of reversals. In off the tag. Jax with great wear. Uh-oh, this is... Beth Phoenix going for it early. She's not wasting any time. Going after an early pinfall. Now Baszler set to the outside with authority. Oh, that'll rock you. Kick to the stomach. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. What an elbow drop for added measure. Devastating kick. That kick will stop me in your tracks. Jax cannot be overpowered. Well, Nia Jax throws a hard punch. Oh, the headbutt. What are they going to do here? They're about to find out. Or this can't be good. Backbreaker, and it's not over yet. Another just punishing. Tag made, tag made.
strikes. And not. in some trouble here. She does so. Hard landing. Power slam. Bet Phoenix gets tagged in. Tag. Here she comes. Oh, straight forward. Systematic attack on that shoulder. Nia Jax brushes that one off.
She just won't stay down. You can sense what her intentions are here. Beth Phoenix in off the tag. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. And Beth with a counter. Uh-oh. Up and... Oh, you face first. That was awesome. We are seeing a lot of guts. A lot of determination out there. You have to wonder where that one turning point to end this will come from. Toll pulled on the elbow on the back of the neck. Oh man, leg drop arm breaker. is unique. Inverted surfboard and a wrist clock submission. There's the save. How close was that? She's looking for the win. You can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to erupt. Are we close to the beginning of the end? Ooh, treading all over their opponent. She knows that now. Oh, and she'll make the tag. China has her marked. That was pure instinct on display from Baszler. The cage fighter simply refuses to quit. The heaviest artillery has been used, but it's not enough for the three. Bang it back with their own counter.
She's pushed into the corner. for your winners. An impressive effort from this duo. Two minds working as one in the ring to create magic. It is a beautiful thing to witness, gentlemen. The following champion versus champion contest is a last man standing match. And it's for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. Well, he stands atop Mustache Mountain. Well, he's a founding member of NXT UK, and he's held NXT tag titles as well. Extremely well manicured facial hair, unlike Byron and the mess on his face. Well, he's obviously taking his time getting into the ring. You ever met somebody who's excited to get punched in the face, Cole? You have to respect what Trent Seven's capable of in the ring, though. This guy is extremely dedicated. Had to cut a drastic amount of weight to compete in the cruiserweight division. Martel is ready for battle. Here is a man who has brought great pride competing with Imperium. The son of a legend in the German wrestling scene. Spent 10 years dominating Germany before arriving in NXT to capture the tag team titles with Fabian Eichner. Indeed, an intense grappler who lives by the creed, the mat is sacred. And he appears he's ready to impose Imperium's will here tonight. Byron, what makes Bartell so dangerous? Bartell is driven. He's always focused, never thrown off his game. And that intense focus has brought him great success thus far in NXT. Introducing the challenger from Wolverhampton, England, weighing in at 216 pounds, Trent Seven.
And introducing the champion from Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds. He is the ECW World Heavyweight Champion, Marcel Bortel. Desire and resolve will be tested tonight, all for the right to claim the championship. tough and there is last man standing tough you can only win this match by keeping your opponent down for a 10 count it's a question of desire and a tolerance for pain we are about to learn a lot about these superstars oh, foot just stomping down double underhook applied butterfly suplex from Trent Seven. Martel escapes the attack. Oh, double knee face buster. Oh no, dangerous maneuver there. Ooh, bullseye. Reversal, can they go on the attack? Trent holds him off. Ooh, that'll leave him up. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. What are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Well, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything goes stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Stiff kick. From the top rope, he fell on the receiving end. Guys, did you think that this superstar would be able to get back into this match like this? Absolutely not. No way. Hits him with the counter. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. It's getting close. Eight. And he's up. Referee's 10 count broken. Looks like it's back to the drawing board. One, two, three. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. Four. This fight is pumping him up. Ooh. Just like that, Barthel finds a counter. Position to be caught in here. Oh my God! Right over the top and hit hard. The challenger is looking shaken. He's one step ahead there. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness, that's insulting. Moment. He's earned it. Four. 
is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Six. And this count will stop. This is either grit, insanity, or a little bit of both. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. One. Sure, he's pumping himself Two. up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Three. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. Okay. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. That's seven. We may be getting to the end. Nice counter from Trent Seven. Looking to finally put that tail away. Hoist it up. The champ's eyes look glazed over. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe. Like, uh, what are they going to do here? Oh, a clever lead! Check out the torque on the back. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Look at this crowd! It's insanity! 
in here. Bedlam. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. chance to simply take it all in. He's piling up the damage now. This is sadistic. Just like that, Trent finds a counter. Oh, knee right in the face. One, two, three, four, five, six, This is not good. Eight. Not over yet. Oh, what impact. Far into the match, and Bartel is in letting up. Seven has had flashes of control, but not on that one. one. He is truly feeling it right now, Two. as well he should. This is close. Eight. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Martel remains at top of the division. I would have thought Martel could do it. Here is your oh, winner. And you're still of this the attitude. ECW World Heavyweight Champion, Marcel Bortel. Grabbing the win in this one is a serious accomplishment. No one was willing to give even a single inch of ground in this battle. At times, it seemed like these competitors were totally deadlocked, but here you see the one who prevailed.